Well, this authorization is likely just hours away for the United States. Elsewhere across the globe, the vaccine has hit its very first safety snack. Fox 61's Matt Karen takes a look at how significant it might be. Well, 44,000 people took part in Pfizer's phase three clinical trial, and nobody in that trial experienced any serious health effects. But people with a severe history of allergy were not allowed to take part in that trial. The FDA is independently reviewing the safety data of Pfizer's COVID-19 vaccine, while the UK has identified two people who developed an allergic reaction to it. We've seen those reports here in our system and we're, we're reviewing them now. It's, it's, it's very, very fresh information. But how significant a safety snag is it? Let's look at the circumstance. The UK has vaccinated thousands of people so far. The adverse reaction to Pfizer's vaccine occurred in two people. Both of those people were regular carriers of EpiPens or adrenaline injectors that counteract allergic reactions because they have a past history of allergy not unexpected. Allergic reactions to vaccines do occur um, and uh, you know it, there's a vaccine reporting system that we'll all be using and there's actually been a couple of additional ones uh, that have been designed specifically for the COVID vaccine. Some people with an allergy to eggs for example develop an adverse reaction to the annual flu shot. This mRNA based COVID vaccine doesn't contain any of the common triggers for an allergy like eggs, animal proteins or preservatives. Both people who experience the allergic reactions are recovering well. The UK's exact wording here is important. They have advised on a precautionary basis that shots not be given to people with a significant history of allergic reactions. More to come from the FDA. But here's what we know. There's a reasonable chance sort of in the five to 10% range for the following symptoms. Pain at the site of injection, okay? Muscle aches, fatigue, and a lower incidence, less than 5% of fever. Those side effects are typically mild to moderate, last less than 24 hours, and are more common in younger people, and more common following the second dose. And I think the most important part of that is that um, patients who receive the vaccine uh, understand uh, what to look for and that we report those side effects in so that they can be evaluated by the FDA and other bodies. Doctors have told me that the fatigue that you might feel after getting an injection is actually your body identifying the spike protein of the COVID virus, kicking in an immune response and helping to build those important protective antibodies. Reporting in Hartford, Matt Karen, Fox 61 News.